you're getting the majority of your calories from simple sugars such as sweet fruits, uh, carrot or beet juice, and even high glycemic sweeteners, you are greatly increasing your propensity towards accumulating advanced glycation end products, which are otherwise known as AGEs, which is AGEs, conveniently uh, interesting acronym for that uh, term. AGEs are caused by glucose in the bloodstream. Now, when we continually have these up and down spikes or even moderately high to uh, higher glucose levels that are more consistent instead of a nice low blood sugar level, consistently low and even, uh, the spikes cause obviously a greater abundance of the glucose in our bloodstream and this uh, the glucose when it's interacting with the cells throughout the entire body because the bloodstream circulates throughout the entire body and comes into contact with every cell in the body to deliver oxygen and nutrients the free-running glucose uh, interacts with proteins causing cross-linking with the proteins and this is what causes AGEs this is almost a type of free radical damage that where the proteins lose their flexibility and they become hard and rigid and that it's that characteristic old age decrepit and uh, calcified almost type uh, body so interestingly fructose causes even more AGEs than glucose so when we take glucose into our body and gets processed uh, by the liver in the time period where it's traveling through our bloodstream it actually wreaks more havoc than glucose alone so in terms of minimizing AGE damage we want a diet that gives us a sustained moderate level of blood sugar which is enough to give us energy and vitality for our day-to-day -day activities and working out uh, but we don't want to have the spikes so we need to consume low glycemic foods uh, very minimal fruit uh, and the fruit that we do consume we want it to be low glycemic such as berries and uh, pears and other uh, not overly sweet and blood sugar spiking type fruits and then we want to get some of our calories from complex carbohydrates whether they're cooked or sprouted and raw as well as from plant-based proteins and unlike animal-based proteins, when plant-based proteins break down they don't have as much uh, metabolic wastes and this is sort of a uh, a lot of people are against the idea of getting your energy from proteins however plant-based proteins don't have as much uh, biological waste as animal proteins when they're broken down by the body um, so they're not as carcinogenic and they give you that sustained long-term energy because they're more difficult to break down by the body um, however the byproducts of breaking down protein isn't as detrimental to the body as getting simple sugars into your body which cause these AGEs especially over the long term when you're consuming them every day as your main fuel source also fats another great uh, fuel source we know that every cell in the body actually runs partially on essential fatty acids not just glucose and oxygen. We can also take in AGEs from external sources when we cook our food. So this is another great benefit of getting um, the majority of our nutrition from raw living food. Uh, AGEs just like they're caused in the body with the interaction of proteins cross-linking with sugars and other proteins. Um, when you cook food the same thing happens under the high temperatures in the cooking process. So also, the, perhaps the absolute worst thing you can do for your health, even more so than uh, consuming excessive amounts of fruit and high fructose uh, raw foods, is high fructose cooked foods. So this is why uh, processed food is perhaps the most detrimental uh, thing that's occurring in society today. Is um, your people are consuming these highly processed foods, which have been have all this. Uh, high fructose corn syrup added into it which is a processed uh, sweetener which is cooked fructose um, and mixed in with these other products which when get cooked for instance with meat or uh, dairy they become
they cause these uh, AGEs at an even more accelerated rate than if you were just to take the raw fructose into your body. So in long-term fruitarians, this is what you see in their haggard type features, their uh, a quickly aging skin, their hairs graying and falling out at an earlier age than most. And also you never see any very long-term fruitarians. They either die prematurely, as is the case with many of the uh, original proponents of uh, natural hygiene, or they end up turning to uh, a high fat diet or even an extreme high, fa high fat diet which incorporates uh, raw animal products or even cooked animal products or more cooked food or whatever. If we take the top eight longevity cultures from around the world we see roughly 20 to 25 percent of their calories coming from fat. So this isn't the, uh, the notable 10 percent or less. So we can take that as a good indicator as to what uh, should be the ideal, fairly broad range that we should be taking in ourselves. So the emphasis on instinctual eating that actually both of these extremes uh, refer to is kind of a silly um, excuse or overlay on the fact that these people are really just running on addiction. So you can't have both of these people saying that that's the instinct to eat either like high fat or high fruit because they're both in uh, negating each other. So of course that means that we want to come to the center. And this doesn't mean that we're afraid or in fear of fruit or that we're afraid or in fear of taking animal products. It's just the simple fact that the very large excessive consumption of either of these and even consumption of these in general does lead to accelerated aging. So again, the these main teachers who are looking so vibrant for their age, their, their advanced ages, they look much younger than they appear. Um, a lot of them are actually the ones who are doing the science, who are running the, the clinics, who are seeing the results of their diet and they've honed their uh, dietary advice or philosophy, you might call it, over the long term. Yet people continue to disregard this because they're wanting to feed that emotional sugar monster within to keep their uh, diet or their lifestyle um, to allow themselves to sustain on that, that high. When what is really needed for long-term health and longevity is honesty with yourself and coming into that place of balance.